Hey everyone, welcome to the Imaging Study YouTube channel. Today we will discuss a little about the ultrasound machines. This lecture is a part of our basic ultrasound lecture series. So if you haven't checked our other videos, then you can check the description box below for them. You have seen different types of ultrasound machines in your medical college, hospital, clinic, or diagnostic center. They are of different size and functionality and obviously of different price ranges. So we basically divide ultrasound machines into two types, fixed and portable. Nowadays, bedside ultrasound is getting popular. Large manufacturer companies are focusing on smaller machines. Machines are getting smaller day by day, making it easier to carry with. That's why we had to make another type called handheld devices. Let's talk about them separately. Fixed machines are large and heavy. They have monitor, keyboard panel, and CPU box like desktop computer and multiple transducer connecting capability. As they weigh a lot, we attach trolley below them. That's why we call them trolley based or fixed type of ultrasound machines. These machines are usually long lasting depending on which brand you are using. They are strong with software and hardware ensuring more functions in a single one and offer a variety of transducer options. These machines are quite expensive, obviously depending on features and brand. They require more space and not easy to move frequently. So if you need something for bedside scans in your hospital ward, intensive care unit or a patient theater, this type may not be suitable for you. Before heading towards the next type, I would love to ask you a question. What's the best ultrasound machine have you ever used? Don't forget to mention that on the comment box below. Now come to the portable ones. Portable machines are getting popular day by day due to the functions they offer with the bucks you pay for. They are good for bedside practice. So if you are a surgeon, you need ultrasound during surgery or an emergency expert need ultrasound for fast exam or emergency intervention procedures or you are a gynecologist, physiatrist need ultrasound as a part of your clinical examination, then we definitely recommend you to go with a portable machine. They are relatively cheaper than the fixed ones and require small space to place. As they are not so heavy, you can fold them and carry with you on the go, just like a laptop. If you are a heavy gamer or dedicated video editor, you know the difference between a desktop PC and a laptop. Small portable devices offer less functionality due to software and hardware limitations. They are less durable in comparison to the fixed ones. You can add multiple transducers in some expensive portable machines, but cheaper ones fight to survive if you even add two props. I had few experience on this situation. Anyway, nowadays, portable ultrasound machines offer excellent resolution, but not as good as the same price fixed ones. Now let's talk about the handheld ones. If I'm not wrong, you are waiting for this part. Handheld ultrasound machines are extremely portable. Some of them can be kept in your pocket. Some companies like Philips, Butterfly, or Claria sell only transducers which can be connected with your Apple or Android devices via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Siemens, Philips, and some other sell tablet-like devices. General Electronics has V-Scan, which reminds us about folding phones we love to use on our young ages. The ultimate goal is to carry them comfortably, which is essential for point care ultrasound practitioners or for the doctors who work on camp areas. The major disadvantage of these machines is the limited functionalities they offer. You can't use several transducers. Poor frame rate, less durability, and obviously less resolution may take your attention. Again, you need to pay a lot in comparison to what you get. In some cases, you also need to pay monthly subscription fees even after buying the whole product. That's weird. But hey, it's just a start. As FDA has already approved handheld devices, we hope to see a lot more innovations on handheld ultrasound devices. I actually sometimes think of this question. If I have a portable ultrasound device in my pocket, then is it necessary to have a stethoscope? I know the price difference, durability, availability, and lot more factors may come here. But who knows about the future? What do you think? Can handheld ultrasound devices defeat stethoscopes? Tell me on the comment box below. Thank you for being with me. Consider subscribing to Imaging Study if you haven't already. This is definitely not a sponsored video. 
So I am putting all the picture sources on the description box below as image credit. However, if you are planning to buy an ultrasound machine, we have planned to make video tutorials about what to look for in a machine while buying. For that, stay connected with us. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.